Bacteria exposed to osmotic stress, such as an increase in osmotic pressure, initiate mechanisms of active coping with the adverse consequences of its effects. Before talking about bacteria classification based on osmotic pressure, you should know about how salts and osmotic pressure affect bacteria. Now, what is osmotic pressure? Osmosis Movement of solvent from a low solute concentration to a higher solute concentration through a semi-permeable membrane called osmosis. Osmotic pressure Osmotic pressure is the minimum pressure which needs to be applied to a solution to prevent the inward flow of its pure solvent across a semi-permeable membrane. It is also defined as the measure of the tendency of a solution to take in its pure solvent by osmosis. Potential osmotic pressure is the maximum osmotic pressure that could develop in a solution if it were separated from its pure solvent by a semi-permeable membrane. Bacterial cells have plasma membrane which allows the movement of water but no salts to pass through it. Osmosis occurs when two solutions containing different concentration of solute are separated by a selectively permeable membrane. Solvent molecules pass preferentially through the membrane from the low concentration solution to the solution with the higher solute concentration. The transfer of solvent molecules will continue until equilibrium is attained. Osmotic pressure can be described as the pressure of a water solution of salt exerted in either direction against a semi-permeable membrane. How does osmotic pressure affect bacterial growth? Water is essential to all organisms. The ability to control the movement of water across a membrane is necessary for the survival of all cells. The movement of water is controlled by the concentration of solutes contained within the water. Bacteria can be classified based upon the salinity they can tolerate. 1. Halophiles Halophiles bacteria require moderate to large salt concentrations. Ocean water contains 3.5% salt. Most such bacteria are present in the oceans. Archaeobacteria, Halobacterium, and Holococcus are some of Halophiles bacteria examples. 2. Extreme or obligate Halophiles This kind of bacteria require a very high salt concentrations. Like bacteria in Dead Sea or brine vats. 3. Facultative halophiles. This group do not require high salt concentrations for growth, but can tolerate up to 2% salt or more. 4. Holotolerant. Most of the bacteria do not require sodium chloride, but can tolerate low concentration of sodium chloride in growth media. This kind of bacteria are called holotolerant. 5. Xerophile The Greek word zero means dry and phylos means loving. A xerophile is an extremophilic organism that can grow and reproduce in conditions with a low availability of water, also known as water activity. Water activity is measured as the humidity above a substance relative to the humidity above pure water. Xerophiles are zero tolerance, meaning tolerance of dry conditions. They can often survive in environments with water activity below 0.8, above which is typical for most life on Earth.
In this channel, we are trying to introduce the beautiful world under the microscope. If you are interested in this type of videos, don't forget to subscribe.